I would just love to know where you're all getting your health advice from. Stop taking advice from fake Instagram Google doctors. Hi everyone, Nurse Mel here. I hope you're all having a great day. As you can see, I am actually still in my nurse uniform. I did a transfer accompaniment today, which actually means that I went to another hospital, not the one that I work with, but a patient who was on our unit because I got to scrub in and see an endoscopic biopsy procedure, which is quite amazing and it just makes us realize how advanced we are getting with our studies and how advanced technology is going in the medical field through diagnosis of lung cancer. So, sorry, I'm just going to remove this because uh, I just walked in and I said I really want to film this video for you guys because I think it is time that I address something that is quite critical in this day and age. In a world where social media is constantly around us and it just consumes us daily it's quite important that I address where you are all taking your health advice from there is a term going around in the hospital and with and it's a lingo and it's with people that I work with nurses and doctors we associate people on the internet that call that call themselves health advisors or health gurus when they've never been appropriately trained in the medical field to be doing so so the lingo that we gave for it is called fake Instagram Google doctors. So we are referring to public figures who use their huge platform, usually with 50K plus followers, and they are giving unsolicited medical advice when in reality they have no place to be doing this. This is kind of a cautionary video. I, I just want everyone to be smart about where they're getting their advice from, who they're asking about it, who they follow on Instagram, and it's totally fine to be following beauty gurus and fashionistas and people that are in politics, people that um, are focusing in the department that they are interested in. But the second they begin to deviate into something that they are not trained in, especially when it comes to health, do not take their advice. I've been seeing so many cringe-worthy things, um, messages that have, been, that have been sent to me asking if this advice that they've gotten on another Instagram page is true or false. It just makes me literally go insane giving such horrific advice to people that can actually damage their bodies instead of benefit them in any way shape or form listen i'm a registered nurse i'm here to help you and better yourself in terms of health wellness and um fulfillness by all means i'm not going to touch beauty i'm not going to touch fashion that is not my forte my forte is what i've been trained in as a professional which is nursing and that is my role on this platform and my role is also to advocate for you and to show you what is right and what is wrong by giving unsolicited advice in a subject disease diagnosis that you were never trained in appropriately for you can potentially endanger someone's life this is between all of my pre-courses and nursing school i've been studying for five years to be where i am today and be able to um act in the role that i have and work in the field that I do because I've been trained and I'm a part of a, a registered order which allows me to practice as a registered nurse here in Quebec. I did not break my head. Five years of nursing school, do bios one, two, three, and four, understand pathology, pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, diagnoses, pathophysiology, sociology of science, psychology. I did not study all of this to have some self-proclaimed doctor Give advice about UTIs and women's hygiene and health and the spread of HIV and all of these things inappropriately. I just I, I can't stand for it. As, as a healthcare professional, I really can stand for this. Just want all of you to be more conscientious of who you trust getting your advice from, who you're seeking your advice from, and more importantly, who you're sharing this information with and where exactly you're getting it from. So this was a question that I received last week from one of my Instagram followers, and she said that she follows this Instagram account, has over 80K followers plus. The girl's beautiful, she's a beauty guru, she's doing her thing, she's actually amazing at what she does. However, she's starting to give unsolicited medical advice concerning urinary tract infections, aka UTIs. She put out on her story, quote unquote, I'm gonna read it actually from my phone, don't take antibiotics if you have a UTI. The entire world of nurses and doctors I need to breathe. Who appointed you to give this horrible advice to a platform of people who could be having a UTI at the moment? 
So myth break over here, because that is my job as a nurse to do this. If your doctor ran all of the tests, did a urine analysis, did a urine culture and sensitivity test on you, did the blood test, and it is confirmed that you have a UTI, the doctor will be putting you on a dosage of antibiotics for a certain period of time, and it must be taken diligently for it to be effectively working. If you do not take your antibiotics appropriately for a urinary tract infection, which is caused by a bacteria that can easily migrate itself all the way up into your kidneys, into the bloodstream, you are going to potentiate yourself for getting a bloodstream infection, which could lead you to septic shock. In layman terms, people that don't get that, you're basically fucked. If you are not a doctor and you are not a nurse, do not give advice about how antibiotics should be given, should be taken, should be prescribed. I am sorry, but antibiotics are serious. They're not a medication that you should joke around with. They are, they come with a great deal of side effects, but they also work wonderfully for infections. And by telling a young woman that is 16 years old not to be taking her antibiotics because she has a UTI, because she doesn't seem that it's natural, Honey, the makeup you're wearing isn't natural either, but there you go wearing it. Nothing is natural. Water isn't natural. Nothing nowadays is natural. But there are things stipulated and in place, protocols that are in place, that are proven to help save people's lives in terms of infections, in terms of diseases, in terms of the flu, in terms of just anything in general. We've come so far with medicine. Why are you trying to go backwards? It just seems pointless. It seems insolent on your part to be doing that. Like, I just want to know, where did you get your sudden medical degree from? Did you get it in a Cracker Jack box? Did you get it in your Kinder Surprise? You're completely disrespecting medicine by doing that. And you're putting other people's lives in danger. And I can't stand for that. As a nurse, it is my role to advocate for people and to help someone out as to the best of my capability as possible using my critical thinking and my judgment and things that I've been trained in. And I simply will not stand for these myths to be shared and these myths are not just not just being shared with one person even though that is bad it's being shared with like i said a group of people who are possibly going to be sharing this information with more and more people another thing regarding the topic of where you're getting your medical advice from you all need to stop looking up signs and symptoms on google you could be saying that you have an earache or your fingers numb it's going to be telling you that you died yesterday be very conscientious of where you are getting all this information from. Listen to the signs and symptoms of your body. You are your best doctor. If you feel something is off, if you have chest pain that's sudden and it's new, if you feel some sudden swishing in your head, if you feel, if you see a new mole on your on your body, go to dermatologist, go get a check. If you're having pain, go to the emergency, request an EKG. These are things that you have the right to do here in North America. If you're worried about something, you know, you are your best doctor. Don't look things up. Don't ask someone that isn't appropriately trained. Go to the emergency and get tested. The emergency has highly skilled, trained, amazing professionals that will run tests on you and labs and tests that can appropriately diagnose you if you do have something. And this is where all the critical thinking can happen because typing things into Google is not sufficient enough to get you a diagnosis. I wonder if actually some of you will be open to this, but I want to be dedicating a segment soon to self-health assessment, which is a good way for you to assess yourself and keep a health log on your body's changes as you're getting older and how to pick up on cues that can make you think, okay, maybe it's time I go get checked and bring this up to my general uh, physician or practitioner when I see them. On top of all of it just being completely morally incorrect to be giving this unsolicited and unprofe not professional advice, it's actually illegal. So if you are not registered with an organization, if you're still a student, if you're just someone that's interested in health, by all means, it's great that you love what you do, but please, until you are registered, until you are a professional, until you are appropriately trained, do not be giving any advice because it could put you and the person you're giving the advice to in great harm and great danger and the role of loving health and loving what we do is to prevent this we are promoting health and awareness and safety I hope everyone learned something from this i'm not attacking anyone i know that i come off strong when it comes to this it's just that i'm very passionate about this and i don't want anything happening to anyone and i don't want anyone to become responsible for something that maybe they didn't mean to be responsible for so I just think it's best to keep people, everyone should just stick in their lane, what you know best and what you've been trained in, preach about that and love and, and edu educate about that. But 
stick to what you know best and what you've been trained in. That's, that's, that's the best thing I can tell everyone. So wishing you a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and stay tuned because I have some very exciting content coming forward about health assessments. All right, everyone, have a great day and stay healthy.